The My First Fake Toy. You've probably seen this image floating around on the Facebooks or the Twitters. You may have even wondered if it was true. It's not. Vape meme enthusiast Professor Jelly here. The My First Vape image was created by noted meme auteur Adam Padilla, who goes by Adam the Creator on Twitter, and when he posted this in late 2017, it went absolutely viral. Most people got the joke, but there's always gonna be that one person that gets mad. One of the reasons why is just how professional the image looks. This guy is an absolute master of Photoshop. He can make even the most ridiculous image seem like it's an advertisement from Target. So there was people who didn't know better who thought that toddlers were out here taking fat rips off Mattel vape rigs. This is not the first time that Adam's been in hot water over a meme though. He received similar backlash when he released the Fisher Price Happy Hour playset, which prompted an official response from Fisher Price. But this bad boy right here would ramp up the straight conspiracy levels. See, whenever he isn't making dank memes, Adam's day job is actually his co-founder of Manhattan-based advertising firm Brandfire, which is not a problem, except for some pinhead dug around and found out that one of Brandfire's earlier clients was Pfizer. And this was pre-COVID, so honestly, he should be happy that the conspiracy wasn't just much worse. There was people going around thinking that this meme was some kind of big pharma plant because Pfizer also produces Chantix, an anti-smoking medication. These rumors got so out of hand that Adam was actually interviewed by a vape website where he stated, People need to ask themselves, is a viral image of an absurd baby toy modeled after a vape something that a major pharma corporation would actually sanction? Trust me, big pharma is not that edgy. I make my living helping companies brand themselves and create campaigns and commercial with my partners. We moonlight as memers, but the worlds don't collide. Memes are not a source of income for me. I don't even run small ads, least of all receive sponsorships from big corporations. Maybe that will change one day, but for now, my only agenda with my Insta account is making people laugh. And he wanted people to know that he was a man of integrity on the subject of vapeology. And for the record, I vape occasionally. And half of my closest friends are big cloud chasers. They do it in the office constantly, literally sitting at my desk. I think that the real driving force on this meme is that it's absurd enough to be captivating, but subdued enough to be like, is this real? Either way, it shows how far a meme can go. This has been Professor Jelly. If you like this video and you want to see more like it, make sure to subscribe.